Bonjour tout le monde! Welcome back! We are here again. Uh, oui, so... Donc, <laughs> aujourd'hui, nous avons nos ipsy um, pour mai et juin. So that's two months. We're going to cover both May and June. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get going because this is going to be a long episode. So <laughs> hang in there with me. Grab your popcorn. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. So to start, we're going to get into what we got in our May box. This, this is actually a very large box. So I'm going to pull everything out here. And as you guys know, Ipsy is a very cool makeup subscription that you can sign up for. Um, you can get either the bags that they offer or you can get the boxes. That's a combination of BoxyCharm and Ipsy together. So it's a collab between the two. Um, I started off with the bags when I was younger, just getting a feel for makeup. And then the older that I got, I felt more advanced with the makeup. So I felt I can move on to like the larger full size items. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna start with a bang. I wanna pull out this beauty here. This is a, um, I think it's Fiate London. I am woman. What's your superpower palette? This is volume two. Love, love, love the packaging. If you guys can see that, it's like this really cute pink and purple combo going on. And when we take a peek here inside the palette, We've got these gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. As you can see, I did kind of test that one out already, but this is a absolutely gorgeous palette. We do have the mirror up top here as well. And I love the shades in this palette, absolutely gorgeous. Um, they look really, really good for my skin tone. So <laughs> let's see if I can try out one of these darker shades. I'm gonna try Hear Me Roar on this lid. I am layering on top of what I already had on my lid, but y'all, this is gorge. It's just like a little bit of sparkle, you know? Just a little bit of sparkle to brighten up your day, honey. Yes, I love it. Perfect for fall, and I'm so ready. Fall is my favorite season, so... Definitely need this palette in my life. Anything from... Somebody correct me down in the comments. Seate London. Anything from them, I tend to fall in love with. So I already knew I was going to love this. But yeah, that just toned everything down and added quite a bit of sparkle. So we here for it. I'm loving it. I'll do more looks with this here in the future and then next we have our oh good old dr brandt luminizer primer i actually had this as a tester when i was still getting the um little glam bags i really do like this product you can't use too much okay if you're like my skin tone or darker just a dab will do you because then it starts to look a little you know, pale on the skin tone, but it does protect the skin. It does what it needs to do um, and adds like a luminizing effect underneath your makeup. So I really, really like this product. I already know that I do. I'm not going to spend too much describing that, but that's what the other item was we got. Then we got another one of my most favorite brands. This is Pixie Skin Treats, and this is their Rose Oil Blend. So when you get their packaging, it does come in this box like this, but then you get the dropper outside of the actual product. So I like that they take care of their products like that. That's having pride in your um item especially considering shipping you know you don't want things to get shifted around and breaking in there so you would go ahead and pull the little stopper out 
And this is going to be nourishing face oil. So I've actually started using like gua sha a lot for my face. I love doing gua sha routines. So I really have been loving this oil like topper before I go in. And y'all, this is gonna be perfect for me. I um, actually have been using the, this one, Feel squalene facial oil recently i just got this in my last ipsy box if you haven't checked out that review go ahead and see the last um little recording but i'll be trying the pixie one and i'm excited i love rose oil i know that there's tons and tons of benefits for your skin and hair so this smells so good like literally fresh roses in a bottle yes pixie come through so in love absolutely and I'm gonna keep rolling because I know we've got quite a few items here. <laughs> so this one here um, is going to be the Defiance Beauty. And this is their Infinity Liquid Eyeliner. Now I haven't been using liquid eyeliners in quite some time. This is like a very interesting packaging. I don't know if you can see that. It's like got like, I don't know some angles going there but I really really love a good liquid liner y'all like a nice sharp wing oh I die so this may become a new fave to say the least because that was just super dumb easy like <laughs> what I did that in like two seconds are you kidding me hold on let me do it again just so you can see. Right? And then connect at the bottom. Are you serious? Y'all, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure. Hold on. What? That was too easy. Okay. I'm messing with you, Defiance Beauty. You got my vote, all right? And then last but not least for this box, we've got our body polish. Ooh, something delicious to scrub a dub dub with. So this is by Love Script. This is their Sugar Plum Body Polish and I love a good scrub, exfoliant type sugar scrub in the shower. Um, you know, even if you are a bath person, you like to bathe. And then I like take a shower after. This is perfect. So this is the packaging. It's super, super sleek. We love, love, love the packaging. Okay. And then just upon opening, we've got a little courtesy lip here. So no spillage comes out. And this is a very faint scent. I'm not even going to say like... You can't even smell. It smells like clouds. Like, <laughs> like, can I say that? It smells so nice and light. I know I'm going to fall in love. So I'll give that a try definitely tonight. Okay. Yes. That's absolutely delightful. I'm trying to see if I can see any products in here. But no, just says gommage pour les cours. Okay, en français, body polish. Now, that was for the month of May. We're going to move into what we received for the month of June as well, because this is going to be a twofer, twofer sticking with me. Okay, um, I've got quite a few items here. And... Don't forget, if you guys ever want to sign up for the Ipsy subscription, my link will be down below in the description box. You guys can always click that. I'm not receiving anything from it. It's just for me to share for you, make it easy um, once you create your next box. Kind of like tag me in your little review of your items. Let me see you make a look or something, boo. I want to see what you get. Let me know if you like it. I have had to take the quiz a few times over the years to make sure they're matching like my skin tone. But as of recent years, I really feel like they've done it. An excellent job picking out different concealers and you know foundations and bronzers and things that match my skin tone so you guys have a go let me know how that goes now getting into the June collection 
I'm going to start off with the Context Shimmer Eye Crossfire. I guess this is the color Crossfire. Um, let me see if I can double check that. Yeah, the color is Crossfire. And this is a Shimmer Eye Stick again. So again, they're showing me something that's a bit more bronzy, which I like. I like for like an everyday makeup. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a very close to my natural skin tone, but just has like that reflective. So I use this as eyeshadow. I use the eyeshadow cream bases. All of these I use in this skin tone shade. So I really do like that. I know I'm going to love it. Um, next, we got a Glam Lash Volumizing Mascara. I've never tried anything from Glam Lash before. I've heard great things. Um... This is actually the box that it came in. Very, very pretty packaging, I will say that. You know, I'm just a, a packaging girly. I eat it up, right? <laughs> but let me see. I don't know, we have already got some falsies on. Ooh. But these are like kind of thin falsies. Like, honestly, I wasn't trying to do too much because I just put them on to do this video. But obviously you can't tell too much of a difference. I can tell, you know, because it's separating out whatever thin lashes were already there. All right, Glam Lash. I'm gonna have to try this on my natural lash though. I've been trying to grow out my natural lashes, so that's been a whole thing. Um, <laughs> I definitely feel like not wearing falsies too much has helped aid in that process going a lot faster. So maybe we can give this a go next time around with like just natural lashes. Cause yeah, I can see the difference, but you guys wouldn't know. Cause like I said, they're falsies. Like that's not gonna be a real review. <laughs> So anyways, yes, Glam Lash, thank you, thank you, loving it so far. Now, the next item that we got is actually a primer. This is a ceramide primer, so apply the primer to a clean face and use gentle circular motions to blend it into the skin. Oh, you can wear this alone or under foundation. So I wonder what the difference is between ceramide primer. So I actually looked up the difference and honestly, I think the video cut out here. But anyways, just so I can explain, this is the Lord & Bell um, collab with Real Her products. And I guess they went ahead and made this ceramide primer. So it says the formulated ceramide primer, this primer works synergistically to improve the skin's various protective properties, which ultimately help create a smooth, hydrated canvas that is primed for flawless makeup application okay and then it says each ingredient works together synergistically that's one of their favorite words it looks like um <laughs> reducing dark spots and calming inflammation like acne increasing ceramides to enhance your skin's resilience so apparently you can use this like i said either alone like just as an everyday you know, skin moisturizer, or you can use it underneath your makeup. Um, they do have a pro tip here. Amplify the benefits of the ceramide by up to an astounding 97%, ensuring deeper nutrient intake of the powerful ingredients. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so gently massage the primer into your skin. And I did do this actually before the video cut out. It looks like it creates like a blurring effect almost. Um, and you just want to put it on the areas where you tend to get oily and it like mattifies everything. It looks gorgeous on the skin. So I will be using this as like an everyday moisturizer and I'll let you guys know how it goes. So moving right along, um, we ended up going to show you the final two products, which are both skin products. Um, believe it or not, this is an actual facial moisturizer. So this is going to be the first aid beauty, um, ultra, repair face moisturizer and this is just their SPF. I absolutely am obsessed with First Aid Beauty. If you guys have been watching my Ipsy reviews for a minute now, you guys know I rocks with them hardcore. Okay, First Aid Beauty got my back and they got I got theirs. Even though there's nothing between us, they don't know that I, I roll for them deep. But I mean I really, really do. <laughs> 
They're so great. Every single product that I've tried from them is absolutely fantastic. Natural, clean ingredients. Like it never has a lingering smell because I don't like smelly stuff on my face, like perfumed items. I prefer to use things that don't have a scent unscented on my face. Um, that's just a personal preference. You do you, boo. You know, ain't no judgment. But aside from that, yeah, I'm excited to try this as well. So, I mean, I can only do one facial moisturizer at a time, y'all. So I'm going to try the Ceramide one first. If it ain't messing with me, um, I'm going to go straight to what I know best, which is First Aid Beauty for sure, for sure. Then finally, we've saved the best for last, y'all. We've got a uh, grown alchemist up in the building. I think that name is super dope. Um, they've come through with their polishing face hole exfoliant, facial exfoliant. Um, I don't know why when I looked this one up online particularly, it came up as a men's item, but I be seeing all those women on the ads, so I'm going to say it's unisex. It's for us all, okay? And I'm going to surely be using this because this thing is packed with finely milled bamboo particles. Do you know how dope that sounds? Bamboo particles be scrubbing off the dead skin of my face. Oh, yeah. Give me some of that. I'm here for it. So, yes, I'm super excited to try this one as well. Obviously, they've got all the things in there to help with brightening or like reactive skin types that says um, it's got like vitamin C, pink grapefruit, um, I don't know, something about like glycerin or something. It also says it has rose hips, rose hip seed oil. So I don't know. I'm thinking it has like a cleaner smell. I, I don't know. Hold on. This is tripping me up a little bit because it says... Okay, kind skin barrier, sensitive to, or friendly to sensitive skin. Okay, all right. All the reviews look really good too. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, I mean, there's not much more I can say about it because it's a skin product. So I have to give it time to review for y'all. But that's the end of this review video. If you stuck around this long, you a real one. You a OG. You know I love you the most. Baddest down bad. All right. <laughs> Thank you for rocking with me. And yeah, stay up. I'll be back for the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>